So you already have an amazing product that you're looking to sell, but you need an online store where you can do that. There are a lot of awesome choices out there when it comes to making an e-commerce site, but if you didn't know, WordPress is an excellent choice as well. Today I'm going to walk you through just how easy it is to set up an e-commerce site using WordPress. So let's just jump right into it, and the first thing we need to do is get hosting set up. There are a lot of choices out there when it comes to hosting. Our top choice out there is SiteGround for this. It is finely tuned for WordPress and WooCommerce platforms. If you check out the video description below, I'll leave a blog article link for you that has a more in-depth analysis for SiteGround and some other competitors so that you can get hosting figured out. Now, once you get your hosting figured out, the next thing you're gonna to need to do is install WordPress itself. Another reason we like to recommend SiteGround is this super easy to do through the SiteGround tools. I'm not gonna walk you through exactly how to do that in this video. Again, check out that blog down in the video description. It's gonna have the more in-depth analysis that's gonna show you step-by-step -step on how to do this. But let's go ahead and walk through configuring your WordPress site so that we can get our e-commerce site launched. Something that makes WordPress an excellent choice when it comes to e-commerce is that it integrates seamlessly with WooCommerce, which is an amazing platform for setting up your e-commerce store. Setting up WooCommerce within your WordPress site is incredibly easy, and let me walk you through how to do that. Now, depending on which hosting platform you went with, WooCommerce might be natively installed for you, but if it's not, here's how you do it. All we need to do is go over here to the left where our navigation bar is and see where it says plugins. We'll click this and we'll add a new plugin. From here, we'll go over to the search bar and we'll just type in WooCommerce. Here you can see the WooCommerce plugin is the first one that comes up. So I'll just click install now. And then now once that's installed, I'll click activate. Now, when we click on WooCommerce for the first time, it's gonna walk us through a super awesome guided tour on how we can set up WooCommerce for our site. This setup wizard is super awesome and guides us through all the steps that we need to take. So I'll click set up my store here, and then we can just choose which one applies to us. For this, I'll just say I'm just starting my business and I'll hit continue. Here we'll just type in the name of our store and we'll say what kind of products or services we're planning on selling. So we'll have our really awesome soap company. We'll say it's health and beauty and then where your store is located. You can choose wherever that's at and hit continue. They'll ask you if you wanted to add any of the boosted features here. You can select some or none, it doesn't matter. And if you want, you can also skip any steps. So we can skip the step if we want. And now from here, it's pretty straightforward. It'll guide us through all the choices such as adding products, choosing our theme, setting up your payments, tax rates, and ways you can get more sales. So let's go ahead and just add some products. You can choose if it's a physical product, variable product, or group product. You can also choose more product types down here if you have digital, subscription, or an external product. But we'll just do some physical products for now. From here, we'll just enter the basic information of it. So we'll have our name here. So this is a vanilla soap. Type in a summary about it. And then you can just choose your list price and your sale price. We'll say the list price is $10 and the sale price is $8. Then you can add a more in-depth description and also add images. So I'll just add an image here. You can either upload an image here or if it's already in your media library, you can add it here. So I'll upload the picture of our soap. And then once I have it, I'll select that. And you can add multiples if you have them. Then once your general information is filled in, we'll click to the organization tab. And here's where you can choose any product categories that you have. So you can create new categories if you don't have them. So here we can do whatever categories we wanna do. So we'll do scented, soaps. You can also add any tags here if you have them. Then you have some more options down here such as being able to hide it in your product catalog. If you wanna enable or disable product reviews, or if you wanna hide it from your search results, you can adjust those as needed. And then in our pricing options, we can set our list price and you can also set a sale price. And what's really awesome here is you can schedule a sale if you want. So let's say we want this soap to go on sale at a specific time and date, we can set that here. And we can make a sale go from whatever date we want. So let's say we have it go from November 9th and we'll have it end at November 14th. We can schedule that. And then you can also decide here if you wanna charge your sale tax on product and shipping, only shipping, or if you don't charge tax. And you can also change your tax class down here under your advanced settings. Then under inventory, you can adjust the SKU for it. If you have your quantity that you wanna track on hand, you can enter it in here. If you run it out of stock, you can also set it to out of stock or if it's on back order. And if you have any restrictions, you can put those in advance right here as well. Then we'll go over to shipping. Here's where you can adjust all of your shipping information for your shipping dimensions. And then if you have product variations, you can put them in here as well. So once we're done with all of that and we're happy, we'll go ahead and hit add. And you can see it's added our product down here below. So let's go ahead and check that out. We'll go to all products here on the left and we can see that our vanilla soap has been added into all of our products that we have. We can also go over here to categories to check all of our different product categories. And here's where we added that scented soaps and where you can add any other product categories that you have. Being able to set up all your product categories is super important, especially if you do have a robust shop with a bunch of different things. So creating all of your categories here is super awesome and something that WooCommerce does fantastically. Now, once you have your products and categories set up, the next thing you wanna look at is your payments. So over here on the left, we'll go to payments. 
And here's how you choose all the ways that you want your buyers to be able to pay for your products. Here you can add Woo payments, and you can also add PayPal payments, Amazon, and more options as well. You can see through the extension store here, Woo offers a bunch of different options for payments as well. So if you wanna add more payment options that weren't already listed, you can find them here. Once you have your payment set up and you're happy with that, the next thing we wanna do is just finish up some settings here. So we'll go to WooCommerce and we'll go to settings. And here's where we can finish setting up the information for our store. So you can put in your store address here, your preferred currency options. You have accounts and privacy options here where you have settings for signups and privacy, things such as guest checkout. You can allow account creation and more. Over here in the email section, if you click that, you can set up email notifications to send from your WooCommerce store for various different store actions, such as when a new order is placed, when your order is processing, and so on and so forth. Here's where you can set all of that up. So there are a lot of different settings that are available. I'm not gonna go through every single one because there are so many. You don't necessarily need to do them all. So you'll have to go through and see which ones make sense for your store. And again, in that blog article down in the video description, if you check that out, there's gonna be a more in-depth guide that goes through all of the different settings if you wanna read through that. But once you have all of that set up, now we're gonna design the store itself. So there are a lot of different themes and page builders you can use for this. I'm gonna go ahead and use Divi. And if you want more instructions on how to set up Divi for yourself, again, check out that blog article. But let's go through customizing our storefront itself. So I'm just gonna add a new page here to show you. And when we go to add our new page with Divi, it's super easy because we can just browse for layouts right here, right inside of our WordPress dashboard. So I'm gonna click browse layouts. Divi has more than 2,000 different pre-installed layouts and over 300 different website packs that you can use for making your site. So it's basically guaranteed there'll be a layout pack that fits your design branding already. So we'll just go ahead and look for one and find one that we like. So since I have a soap store, I'm gonna look for soap. We can see there's already a pre-made layout for us for our soap store. Let's go to the shop page here that's already made and I'll just use this layout. So here's where you can see using the power of Divi and WooCommerce built in together, how this can be super seamless and easy to set up your shop. So let's go ahead and look at how it looks already. So this is just using the pre-made layout. Let's go ahead and scroll down and we can see that our store is already built using the WooCommerce plugin that we were using. We can see our vanilla soap that we made here. And if we were to add some products, those will automatically populate as well. Another thing that's super awesome though, is we can completely customize anything we want on our page, which is one of the big reasons that WordPress is such a great choice for an e-commerce site. So if we go into this little gear icon, that'll bring up our module settings. And here's where we can adjust all of our Woo product settings that we want. Here's where we can choose which product type we wanna show here. So if we wanna do it by category, sales, latest, whatever we want here, we can adjust that. We can choose how many products to show. We can choose which categories we want. So you can see we have our scented soaps that we made and any of the other categories that you make will automatically appear here and you can choose through them. You can choose how many columns you want this to have, which way you want it to sort. And then you can also fully customize your design as well. So that way you can make the shop look exactly how you want to match your store's branding. There are a lot of different modules that you can also use for your e-commerce site when you're using WooCommerce. So if you wanna check out some of those, you can go and add a new module right here. And then if you just type in Woo, you can see how many WooCommerce modules there are. This is how you can really fine tune your site and make it look exactly how you want. So let's just add another product here so we can see it automatically appear in our store. So I'm gonna go ahead and save our changes to here down on the bottom. And then I'll go back to our WordPress dashboard. Let's go to our WooCommerce products here and we're gonna add a new product. So we'll fill this in the same way we did before. So let's add a page for our strawberry soap. And once we have all that set up, we'll just go ahead and add that. And we can check that again. So if we go to all our products, now we can see our strawberry soap and our vanilla soap. And so let's go check out that page and see how it looks now. So I'll go ahead and view my store that we already set up. And if I scroll down, we can see now we have our strawberry soap and our vanilla soap. And I showed you what it looks like if one's on sale. I just put this one to be on sale and it'll make a little flag for us for when your product is on sale. And then just like everything else we've talked about, everything is fully customizable. So when a user does go ahead and click on one of your products, you can change the entire storefront here with whatever description you want and make it super easy for your customers to buy your products. So you might be thinking to yourself, there's no way that it's that easy. And honestly, it really is. WooCommerce and WordPress make it super easy to set up a very powerful and fantastic looking store really quickly. But where do you go from there? There are a ton of different powerful plugins and integrations that you can use to help boost your WordPress e-commerce site. You can use some powerful SEO plugins such as Rank Math SEO to help make your site more search engine friendly, which will help bring customers to your site. There are also a lot of powerful email marketing plugins you can use such as MailChimp to help you build and manage your email lists super quickly as well. You can also find CRO tools like Optin Monster and Bloom to help you get the most from your site by allowing alternative conversion for email signups as well. 
As you can see, setting up an e-commerce store is a lot easier than you thought, and there are a lot of super cool plugins you can use to make this process easier as well. You can check out my list of the top five best SEO plugins I just recently did. It should be on your screen right now if you wanna check that out, and we'll see you in the next video.